Welcome back everyone to Pine Leaf Plays the Rune Keeper. And our first order of business is to go to Rivendell because our friends here decided not to give us any instructions on what to do next. They just give us a bunch of dailies and leave us to fend for ourselves. And you could at least have given directions considering that it is quite possible to get lost on this. Now I presume that maybe from these drops that you had earlier you probably have at least one quest sending you to Rivendell plus the one we got in the previous area so I guess we're not a completely guideless but we are horseless at the moment because we got these crazy annoying Feelings. Thank you. And we have several quests to turn in there. We've got someone who wants some pipe weed, or I would appreciate it when we tell them about the pipe weed. And we have the lynx hide coat. Now we do have this thing about your legend grows. Now this is going to be a little bit of a oh oh no 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 not again. I'm going to need a stronger horse. Because 100 morale just doesn't cut it when you're going through Link's territory. Alright. Now let's head down here and we are entering into Imladris. Yes! The Gates of Imladris, New Deed. Explorer of the Troll Shawls. New deed. Deed completed. Troll Shawls. Road Riven, right? Explorer. Oh, this is for. You get the Road Rivendell, the Ruins, the Troll Shawls. So they're three different. I would have thought I would have at least have found something in the wilds. Oh, I guess this is over except for when you complete it. I don't know what I missed, but I'm sure I missed something. Probably some of the elite areas. I'm sure that they have their own sections. Actually, maybe I should have headed towards the stables. Though, so actually, I might not. Ah, okay, this is the I need to talk to anyway. What do you need? Megavanen, you come from El Eladan and Elor here with a message for Master Elron? Then I will send you speedily on your way. From here, follow the road east, crossing the first bridge. Continue to follow the road to the northeast and so come within sight of the last lonely house. Master Elron is often in the library upon the top floor. Yes. Now, I know I'm going in the opposite direction because the opposite direction is where we'll find the stable master and I don't want to do something silly like Who's in there that wants to be talked to? Oh well Maybe Aragorn for the next part of the epic. Because Book 4 starts... I can't remember whether Book 4 starts with... In there, or if it starts with Elrond. But I guess we can do Book... We, we can do Book 4 if needed. Especially since it flows well with the Misty Mountains. So that may be an idea. Especially considering that we... Ha oh, that's right, because we do have a quest. So long. To finish book three, we need to talk to Aragorn. Yes. That's been so long, I completely forgot about what having to do that. What can I do that. for you? 
All right, there we go. Now we've got the stable master. So I will go back and talk to Aragorn. Now I rem remember that yes, I never did quite finish book three technically. I mean, I finished all the real stuff in it because all that does is saying, "Oh, hello, ready to start your next book." So he just sends us to Aragorn so that you can start the next book. I know I never finished book two, but I don't think I'm ever going to. Now, book four and five are tied together, meaning you have to finish book four to do book five. And then once you start with book six, the rest of the epic for Eriador is going to be the rest of volume one, then we'll follow one after the other, requiring the previous one. Alright, let's talk to him about this. I thank you for this news. Oh, that I could be there to aid my aid in those matters, but it would seem my fate lies to the south and not to the north. I will compose a message to Halbred and ask Master Elrond if one of his elves can carry it to Estildin. You are my you have done enough, and you have my thanks for it, and I'll take this reward that is now obsolete because you should have been here several levels ago. Yes. Now, don't ask me how I would get here several levels ago, but that's an entirely different matter. Now, light armor, 111 plus might! <sighs> A pocket item, 9 vitality versus 18 fate. Well, that's worth 7, that's worth 6. So we'll take the Welcome to trinket. Rivendell. Welcome to Rivendell, where you will find the last lonely house east of the sea, Pinestone. The road to Imladris is not as forgiving as once it was, and I'm concerned for your... And I commend you for your efforts. I hope the waters of the ford have calmed since their passage. We left them in turmoil. I fear the cause of these troubles is not yet concluded. Lord Elrond is the master of the house here. He should be given news of your arrival. Yes. So, therefore, I'm to go to him. Now, he also has the beginning of book six here. Because, as I said, book six is not linked. And I'm starting to get close to the level where we can start to do this. And the other one's going to send us to Evendim, a momentous decision. And since that concludes with a six-player instance where you fight a giant turtle, I know I am not going to be able to finish that, so no reason to start. But if you are in a group regularly, I do recommend it because it's a real nice one because... The point of it is to forge the sword, Aragorn's sword, because Aragorn's sword has been broken since the well, since the days of this Sildur, so it's more of an more useful as an heirloom than as a weapon. Though they do make it seem as if he does use it as a weapon because he's just so proud of his heirloom sword that he tries to use it as a weapon, even though even he jokes about it when he meets Frodo and Sam in the Prancing Pony. In the movies, they decided that, yes, yes, he is smart enough to carry another weapon. <laughs> now, of course, it's reforged by the time they get to Moria and stuff like that, and the times when they most use the sword. You may be of service to me. Let's see. Pinestone, it has come clear that your loyalty stand firmly with our house. The elves of Rivendell are grateful for your service, and always, yes. And you can go to Emengar in order to talk. This is all rep stuff. I'm not going to worry all about that. Actually, what I do want to check is... Eh. Now, I am going to have to head over to Bree in order to 
see about him, and he's just going to send me back to Rivendell, which I really should reset my milestone. That's why I forgot to do there. So we'll see if I actually remember to reset my milestone, but if I forget, at least there's a quick travel horse route from Southbury. Virtually everyone jumps down here. But I am in the mood to, since I'm a proper elf, which means that I'll do it this way once and then jump down the rest of the times. So first of all, let's go, let's see House of the Master. Will you lend me your aid once more? Greetings, good elf. How may the Master of Rivendell be of service to you? What is this you say? A gaunt man has been raising whites in Nam Tornath? My son was correct. This deed cannot go unchallenged. Thank you for bringing word of this to me. I will see the evil is purged from the ruins. Usually that means sending the the player there. A strange fate brings you hither. A place of rest. Now I have not seen this quest before, so I've done the two sub-quests under it. So they probably just decided to add a overarching quest to go with it. Be assured, Pinestone, the evil that remains in non toilets will be dealt with, though I may consider the best course of action to ensure that it is so. In the meantime, you should take the opportunity to rest. Rivendell is a refuge to all those who come in peace. There are indeed some in the house already who have taken a pause from their trials. You should seek them out and speak with them. Bilbo Baggins spends much of his time in the Hall of Fire performing the songs and poems he writes for his friend Vindir. You should also find Gandalf the Grey in Bilbo's apartments. He has many concerns, but Frodo Baggins is the greatest. You should seek them both out while you are here. All right, so we need to talk to Frodo and we need to talk to Gandalf. Dark days are coming. Your path that took to my doorstep has been perilous, Pinestone, and has dangers all too common in these dark days. If you will consent to lend us your aid, it will not be the least of your challenges. Right. Hope is not in vain. <laughs> oh yes, I. <clears throat> yes, he sends you back to Eladon. This, we're yes, when the epic tends to bounce you around. Welcome to Elandris, Pinestone. It is good that you have come. Rest well, but not too deeply or too long. We have need of adventuring folk, for there is evil beyond the veil. Not more than two months ago, a hobbit by the name of Frodo Baggins and his companions were pursued to the ford of Bruinen by servants of the enemy. I speak of the Nine, the Nazgul, fell the creatures in the service of Sauron, and though the Bruinen fell upon them at my command, we have found the steeds of only eight. One of the writers is unaccounted for. My son set forth with scouts bound to them by friendship to seek this missing writer. I ask that you seek with El speak with Eladon at the camp at Thorin Hot along the ruining gorges and lend your aid to the search. We must learn where this Nazgul has gone and most importantly, his designs. So we need to speak with Eladon. Now I'm not going to go straight uh, actually, maybe, what is he sending me off to? Oh, he also has to forward turning to the north, and I think he just sends you to Aragorn, just in case you didn't get the hint from Aragorn that he wanted to talk to you. So therefore, we have to speak with Eladon. Now, this is a level 37 quest. So it's probably best that I handle that first and not worry about the other stuff I have here. And this is what the reason why I didn't go around looking for a XP accelerator because I have to go through book four and as I go through book four I'm probably going to hit level 40. Now 
I know we have Bilbo and Gandalf in there to take care of, but why just want to take care of right now? Is getting this Lynx coat, and I believe I also have. Oh, no, I'm not going to be. Hit the right button, and you'll go places. That's right, and the boar tooth dagger. All right. And well, all right. We will go in because this is going to be elf weaponsmith, and the cloak is going to go to an elven armorsmith. And why am I on foot? Rivendell is large enough that it sometimes pays it to ride around. I believe he's on the other side of the bridge. Now here, what level is the quest she's going to get? It's probably level 40 now. It used to be a le yeah, it used to be a level 39 quest. Now it's a level 40 quest. I will. Yeah, I'll pick that up later. And you can also pick it up out in the wild in any case, the first time you run to a snow lurker. Alright, here's the armorsmith. What can I do for you? In all my years, I have not seen the lynx stalking amongst the stones. Yet, I have long lived within the safety of Limladris. The wild beast grows more aggressive with each day passes, and evil stirs in the heart of Middle-earth. Your victory shows your cunning and skill, and I shall weave a cloak from the mantle worthy of your feet. All right, and this is much better armor than what I currently have. Improved evade, but not as much fate. Well, as we finish that, I guess I'll dom that, and we'll just take one more and we'll turn in this th for the dagger which of course I won't be using but I'll just do it to complete the quest what can I do for you I have lived many years and seen many gifts passed from the creatures of the woods to the elves of Lamdris, but I have never seen a boar to such as of such beauty. I will be honored to fashion this into a dagger for you, friend elf. And let's see. Now, of course, I can't use daggers as buying on acquire, but I guess I could sell it. Now I'm heading back this way because. As you guessed, I forgot to tag the tag the miles. Now the question is whether or not I should, since I am going to Eladon. But if I had it at at their location, I probably wouldn't be tagging the milestone. But since I have it a place that I'd have to ride a horse ride anyway and get there anyway, I might as well do that. Alright. And now let's head over to Bree. And we'll conclude our episode there where I am going to pick up this legendary quest. Now, I'm not going to actually be able to take much advantage of it. Uh, until we cross into the Misty Mountains. In that this is part of a series of class deeds that every... Er, that everyone gets. You get them at level 39 and then you get your... trait points. And the idea is to collect pages all over the place. Maybe one of the reasons why they, they're starting to be earnings at level 50 is so they don't have to add another set of pages all over the world for 
another class to gather. Right? Yeah, this is this guy. A dwarf. Well met, friend. It seems you have reached another important milestone in your journey as a runekeeper. You may have noticed that I am in possession of a number of books that may help you to become a better runekeeper. Now that you are ready to read them, you should buy these books and learn what they have to teach you. Yes. That's the primary importance of the trainers these days is to sell you these books. Let's see. Now, I could at least have something decent for I don't even have uh, the, the most basic of bonuses here, much less anything that's useful. What I'm going to do is that as soon as this episode is over, I am going to... I'm going to buy a class item and a satchel from the auction house. And I'll show that at the next episode. I'm not going to worry about going through my shopping there for that. But I will get these three books. Gulu, whatever that is. Fine. So that opens up three deeds. And the deeds are... And I must talk to Elrond in order to continue those deeds. And since, believe me, I'll talk to Elrond plenty of times during the Trollshaw's epic. And none of them drop until then. I'm not going to worry about actually seeing Elrond until the next time I'm sent there. But that is it for today's episode. And in our next episode, I will have a new satchel, hopefully. And a class item. And maybe that will make me a little bit more effective. And I would have popped over back to where Eladon and Elro here are so that we can continue on with the epic story. But that'll be for our next episode of Pine Leaf Plays, The Room